It's great. He wants me to do it Concentrate again. a little bit, will you? Come on, Wendell. I like that. Jackson Jeffcoat of Texas was named the winner of the Ted Hendricks Award that is presented annually to the top defensive end in college football. Jeffcoat led the Big 12 in sacks, and his 80 tackles are the most by a UT defensive end in 19 years. Earlier this week, he was named the Big 12's co-defensive player of the year. The Cyhawks series continues Thursday in Ames when Iowa visits Iowa State in women's basketball. The Hawkeyes are 10-1 and and ranked number 21, while the Cyclones are 8-0 and ranked number 17. Now this should be an outstanding game as Iowa averages 84 points per game and the Cyclones are averaging 82. Earlier this week, Iowa State added a new player when Tanisha Matlock, a 6'2 senior who has competed on the Cyclones volleyball team, joined the basketball team. She's tall, she's athletic, she's physical. Um, she's got an engaging personality and she's played on a winning team. Coach Bill Finley's team needed to add some height when sophomore Madison Bayer suffered a season-ending knee injury. Matlock, who played basketball in high school, started practicing with the team Tuesday. And there's a Big 12 mascot who is in contention for back-to-back -back national championships. Texas Tech's Raider Red won the Capital One mascot challenge last year and has reached this year's finals. Raider Red is going up against Rocky the Bull from South Florida. Now you can help Red by visiting CapitalOneBowl.com and voting for the Texas Tech mascot. The winner will be announced January 1 at the Capital One Bowl. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.